Hi everyone, it's Steph here and today what we're showing you is another superb pen from the Yard of Lead Pen Company. You can see it comes in this gorgeous black wooden box, quality box, with this lovely silver clasp which has this lovely engraving. If we open the box, what you'll see inside, we have the Yard of Lead fountain pen and this particular one is the Astoria. Now, if we take the pen out of the box first of all, inside what you'll find is this very nice touch, this leather single pen case for the pen. And if we open the, the inside like so, you will also find a yard of lead polishing cloth. And to the bottom here, you will also receive the guarantee and user guide um, from yard of lead. So if we pop them back in there, and pop the box to one side so what we have an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen here this particular one as i said is the yard of lead this is the astoria this particular one is the grand um, they also do a standard version which is a little bit smaller um, but as it well as the word says the grand this is the bigger version the barrel and the cap are made from an acryl acrylic material and the pattern on this one or the design is a cream and ebony finish. It's actually, well as you had a lead term it, it's actually a, a subtle unique uh, pattern of soft eggshell or an eggshell finish if you like. But the colour is what they term as an, a cream and ebony finish. The pen itself size wise from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 149 millimeters. Around the barrel approximately here is 40 millimeters. Um, so as you can see it's quite a substantial pen. Although it's 14 millimeters here, it actually tapers down to the bottom here. You can see the pen has this tapered design. And around the bottom it's approximately 10 millimeters in diameter. Now, as you can see, the pen comes um, with this lovely silver trim. To the end of the barrel here, you've got this silver, uh, solid silver button to the end. If we take it up to the top here, you can see the cap band. It has this quite a thick, solid silver cap band. And then to the top there, you will actually see it has the very, very recognisable yard of lead clip. If we give you a sideways views, there you can see, very, very recognisable. And to the clip, you'll also see it has the wording Yard O Lead. Also, every pen in the Yard O Lead range is individually numbered, and you'll see to the clip to the top there, um, this particular one is numbered 389. If we take you to the top of the cap here, you can see it's got this nice little touch here, and it has a button with a silver. Y, which well obviously stands for yard of lead and last but not least continuing on the silver you'll notice to the large um to the large band to the top here you'll notice the silver hallmarks so if we actually turn it around for you like so and again you'll see it has the 925 um, it's got the anchor there which tells it's made in Birmingham if we take it around a little bit further again we've got um, the 925 we've also got the lion pass on there and if we take it all the way around um, you'll also notice it's got the um, yard of lead for the yard of lead company and to the just below that you'll see the date letter um, the date letter R so again the pen has got fully uh, a full solid silver trim to the pen. Now, if we take the cap off here, let's actually show you the pen and the cap together because I think they're absolutely beautiful. Let's just sort of turn them around a little bit, give it a twirl. Absolutely gorgeous. So, pop the cap down here. What you'll notice, it has this quite a long solid silver smooth section to the top and if we just give you a close-up I'm hoping you can actually read to the top of the band to the top section there it tells us that it's sterling silver 
Again, if we go a little bit closer, you can see the nib. The nib is a silver coloured 18 karat gold yard of lead 750 medium nib. If we try and give you another another different view there, absolutely beautiful nib, ladies and gentlemen. If we turn it over you can see the feed underneath there which is the standard um, yard of lead feed and let's give you a little bit of a side view there of the nib as well. So if we take the, the barrel off the section there you can see <coughs> it's got the standard standard converter fitted inside although I do believe you can also use, um, use a cartridge within these particular pens as well. So what we'll actually do, let's bring on some ink and all we need to do is dip the nib into the ink turn the converter a little bit like so and I'm hoping you can see there, we can see we've got, we won't fill it all the way to the top, it's only for um, to do a writing sample, let's wipe off any excess, excess ink Let's pop the barrel back on like so and let's do a little bit of writing. So what we have here is the yard, yard OLED. Um, this particular one as we said is the, the Astoria. It's the Astoria model and this particular one as I said is the is the grand now the pen is absolutely lovely the writing is very very nice very very smooth as you would expect from a quality pen it lays down a well I'd say quite a wet line there's just a tiny tiny little bit of variation within the nib there's just a little bit of flex not a great deal but all in all well, as you would expect with Yard of Lead, absolutely lovely. The nib is beautiful, it writes lovely and smoothly, an absolute delight to actually use. Incidentally, with the section here, some people may be put off by the section because it's smooth and there's, no, there's nothing to grip it on, but believe me, it's actually very, very nice and very, very comfortable to actually use. So let's put the cap on like so and there we have it an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen ladies and gentlemen believe it or not this particular pen actually looks even nicer in real life it's absolutely beautiful so what we have here as I said is the yard of lead this is the Astoria it's in the grand version which is the the larger of the two um, and as I said it comes in a cream and ebony finish with solid silver solid silver trim so let's pop that down I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you don't don't be afraid go and have a look at other videos I've done leave a comment um, but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now